curriculum. Pull in that? No, ma'am. It's the, uh, I'm sorry, it's the consideration of the approval of the uh, uh, counter change. I move that we approve as recommended. Let me skip that. <laughs> okay. And turn. I'll make the motion. Second. Mis motion by Mr. Ferguson. Second by Ms. Foudy. I would like to, to speak to the motion. Um, I think uh, obviously we want to do the best thing for the students here. We'll give them the best chance of success. And uh, the next sentence says, and consider allowing parents. So the, the spirit of that next sentence is to hold harmless those who have already acted in good faith based on the schedule we put out. I think we've heard another uh, issue come up tonight, is there anybody else that we need to hold harmless? Are there teachers who would be penalized in some way for some commitment they've made based on what we said the schedule is? Is there something we can do to take care of that? And then we can address that question, but I'd just like to throw that out there. Some of this we may have to take on a case-by-case -case basis. You know, it's, <clears throat> I'm sure things will come up. I mean, we're going to do everything we can to work with people, but you know, you realize that, uh, you know, in this kind of situation, there's going to be some inconveniences. We're going to try to uh, ameliorate those as much as possible. I, <clears throat> I think since um, it, it read that those who had made the recommend, I mean, the uh, reservations with the receipt and everything, they would grant that excuse. However, some people didn't necessarily want their kids to miss that extra week, so uh, I'm just hoping that if we approve this, that there would not be that many who have done that already. Uh, but as Dr. Waddell says, we'll have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis if this is approved. Any other? I was just curious, I don't know who can answer this, why we didn't move spring break out a week, yeah, after. After the testing, that's what I'm going to go on spring break. Um, we had um, several things come up in terms of discussion items um, with principals. Um, when I put out that particular week, I had two replies back for possibly moving it um, to the, the week behind the original spring break. Um, we went ahead and took the vote on the original date and I believe you have information that shows that 55 principals were affirmative, um, three voted to keep spring break as continued as it had been, and one voted that either week would be amenable, and then the vote with the curriculum council was um, 66 to change to the recommended week. Um, nine voted not to move it, and two voted that either would be amenable. Um, in, Preparing for next year, it was suggested that we just take a, whole, a look at the entire block of testing because we have high school testing as well as um, STAR testing and just move everything behind that um, and take into account where Easter might fall. Um, it becomes pretty difficult when you have, as in next year, there will be 45 days of testing. Uh, so that's a quarter of the school year um, is taken up with testing next year. The calendar becomes difficult and when you also think about the fact that the legislature is, has uh, mandated when we start school, um, there's, there's not a lot of flexibility in the calendar. Hmm. I, I would like to agree with Mr. Ferguson as we want to do what's best for our students and if this will help them um, be more successful on the assessment um, that does impact their confidence and as you stated um, you know, it's reported in the newspaper so there's a lot of factors that we're taking into consideration. I also like this option not as, as well as because it involves helping our students um, on the assessment I like this because when you look at where the break for most of the other school districts in the North Texas area fall, we would be during that same week. And I truly feel as we gave direction in our fall workshop um, or strategic planning session that it's very important because we serve multiple communities that um, 
we try to be as cohesive with other school districts as possible when we schedule our spring break. Um, for instance, there, because um, let's look at Prestonwood Baptist Church. They take a mission trip during spring break. If you have students from four different cities who go to that church, if our spring break is different and everyone else's is the same, our kids miss out on that leadership opportunity. Um, you have to consider families who have childcare, teachers who teach in other school districts who want to have spring break with their children. Um, the list, I could go on and on. But um, I feel it's important when we make this decision, we take into account the families who don't necessarily live in the core cities. And we also take that into consideration when we are planning for next year. I think this is just one of those that we have to roll, roll the ball, crystal ball. There is none right now. And we have to deal with it however, because we just don't know how it will play. Might do some money, but that's the chance we have to take. Ready for the vote? Okay. What um, consider uh, the approval of the proposed 2011-2012 calendar change? All in favor? It's unanimous. Okay. I want to make sure that we're not doing curriculum. We went down from there. We're not doing anything there. Okay, good. Just under that heading, okay. uh, this comes under the curriculum okay. uh, division. The next one, uh, consider approval of reapplication of the optional flexible school day program. Entertain a motion. Mr. Ferguson, second by Ms. Um, Latham. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. <laughs> Eddie, would you like to speak? Anyone want to speak to the motion? If not, we, uh, you know? I believe this is what we heard from earlier. Absolutely. Boards. Absolutely affirming a great, very successful program for our district and for our students. This is money well achieved. <laughs> All in favor? Unanimous? Okay, consent agenda. Ready to? Are there any um, anything that anyone wanted to comment on? Have a question about? Well, okay. I need to recuse myself from item B, one A, B, C, D, A, E. Item B. Anything to do with telecommunications? Point. Okay. Point of parliamentary procedure, Mr. Ant, why don't you make a motion to approve everything else and then we'll we'll do a note that here we go. How's that? Everything except. Move to approve. Consent agenda. Second. 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 Except approval of the consent agenda with the exception of item B, purchasing one A, C, D, and E. Any others? And moved and second that everything with the exception of uh, items. One A, B, C, D, and E be approved. Any ready for the vote? All in favor? Unanimous. <laughs> Ms. Craig, I move that we approve items one A, B, C, D, and E from the consent agenda under purchasing. Been moved by Mr. Ferguson that we approve. Uh, items A, B, C, and D, and E from the agenda, the consent agenda, and it's been second by Mr. McDaniel. Are you ready to vote? For the record, that's uh, 6B1. 6B1. Right? Yes. All in favor? Opposed? It's unanimous. Oh, he abstained on that one.
Are we reading? We don't have to read it in there. We're good. Okay. If that in, I entertain a motion for adjournment or? We adjourn. Out of here.